I've just one month to finish my artwork based around the new science of quantum biology. I've been working in Blender to finalise the design for this cabinet that is going to form the housing of the artwork. As you can probably tell, it's not the most simple plan. I am not trained in furniture design, but I do insist in making almost all parts of my artworks myself, by hand. I enjoy the process, I enjoy learning new skills, I also enjoy buying new tools, and more on that to come. This isn't just a normal cabinet, of course. That would be too simple. It's a cabinet with a 28-inch 4K monitor embedded inside it. The contents of the cabinet will be video content that I am also putting together in Blender. The concept for the work is based around the idea of a cabinet of curiosities. These were collections of strange and wonderful objects originating from the furthest corners of the globe. They were private collections owned by rich individuals and were a precursor to the modern museum. In fact, Britain's first museum, the Ashmolean Museum of Art and Archaeology in Oxford, where I was just a few weeks ago, was founded to house the cabinet of curiosities that Elias Ashmol gave to the University of Oxford in 1677. I thought an interesting aspect of these types of collections is how they approach incorporating elements of living animals and plants. Early animal stuffing techniques that predated taxidermy didn't come along for almost another hundred years in the mid 18th century. So these early 16th and 17th century collectors instead incorporated highly prized skulls, bones and claws from exotic animals and paintings and drawings that documented flora and fauna. This idea of collecting some kind of artefact from something we couldn't observe or preserve made me think that this was a good metaphor for how we are uncovering the science of quantum biology. We are exploring this new world and bringing back artefacts that may prove that it exists even though we cannot observe it directly. The quantum effects are too quick, too small, and the act of observing them affects their delicate operation. So researchers are looking for signs that these quantum effects are taking place. They are looking for traces and shadows that reveal their presence. The artwork will feature many elements drawn from my research fellowship with the Institute of Advanced Studies at the University of Surrey over the past months. It will be exhibited at the University on the 5th of July, where I will also be giving a talk about the artwork to a room full of people working at the cutting edge of the research. So the pressure is on.